From now onwards, it leaves a lazy life. If it has to go from one place to another, a moving van takes it there. If grit or imperfect grains have to be extracted, it is done painlessly by a separator. And in order that it shall present a clean, shining face, it goes through a number of washing processes in which any foreign matter that remained is left behind. Is this enough? Not likely. It must still go through sieves. Having thus been gently taken through a series of operations, it is then driven onwards towards its next adventure. At this point, the wheat gets quite a turn, for it discovers that before it goes any further, it must be weighed. The steam cooking is to make the starch in the wheat more digestible. For 20 minutes, it remains in giant kettles, after which the more intricate part of the proceedings takes place. The wheat is handed over to the tender mercies of the shredding machine. The idea of a shredding machine brings visions of the income tax department, but actually, as you can see, it is much less fearsome than that. The wheat has been so transformed that it scarcely recognizes itself, and at this point it begins to think that the way is long, or rather, drawn out. But now it begins to... For its sins, it must now endure a roasting. The ovens which do this are fed with oil fuel in order to obviate any possibility of coal dust or ash impairing the purity of the finished product. This is where the shredded wheat cake, and as soon as they are roasted to just the right point, other trays take their place. I expect you will have noticed that in all the processes to which the wheat has been subjected, there is not one single instance where it has been touched by the human hand principles of hygiene are most rigidly observed. To secure the crisp crunchiness of shredded wheat, the cakes are wheeled into drying tunnels where any drop of moisture they might have retained is finally evaporated. So box, it takes a little journey by itself on what is called the gravity conveyor, at the end of which 36 stout cartons of shredded wheat are placed inside it. When it eventually reaches the stores, it finds itself with of delicious nourishment and satisfaction to vast number of homes throughout the world.